All right, in this video, we're going to do another example of direct variation, a real life example. And this time it's about getting paid for a job. So if you felt comfortable with the last example and you feel you understand direct variation, you can skip this video if you choose. So getting paid for a job. Now we talk, talked about something being a constant and the constant is your hourly rate of pay. Let's say, for example, you get $21 an hour. It's constant because it, it doesn't really change. If each day or each week, you're still getting paid $21 an hour, assuming there's no penalty rates. Okay, so assuming you're not working on uh, public holidays and such. So that's our constant. Now, the variables are, there's two of them, the number of hours you work and the pay you get. For example, if you do three hours of work, they will pay you $63. Or if you work four hours of work, they'll pay you $84. These are called variables because it changes all the time. One week you might work 20 hours, the next you might work 30, and the pay will change accordingly. Notice that there's a relationship between each variable. There's a relationship between the hours you work and the pay you get. And this is called a linear relationship since its graph would make a straight line. Okay, third po dot point. You calculate the amount of pay you get by multiplying $21 by the amount of hours you work. So if we look at it, the number of hours you work is called a variable because it varies from week to week. You multiply that by your constant, by your $21 an hour. And after you do that, you get your total pay which is another variable. Just like we mentioned at the very beginning, you multiply one variable by a constant in order to calculate the other variable. 